Okay guys, welcome back. I uh, want to make a short little film about alfalfa management in the fall. Uh, so we are out here in the alfalfa field and we have uh, released our secret weapon. There the breeze stopped for a little bit. There's one of my pet leader cows coming up to see me. Anyway, so one of the things that we do in the alfalfa field in the fall uh, is graze the alfalfa after the frost has come and the alfalfa has died back. Uh, obviously you use good management. Don't let your cows out until uh, the dew is off in the morning until the alfalfa is dry. And for the first day or two we'd pull them out and then call them back in. They're, uh, they're all looking. <laughs> they're looking at the rest of the herd that's gone down for a drink of water. And I'm standing in the gate. But anyway... Uh, practice good grazing management. We're not letting them out here when it's muddy. Uh, the ground is dry. It was froze when we first let them out, but uh, now the frost has come out. We've had a couple warm days and it's dry. But uh, we graze the alfalfa. You want to remove as much of this vegetative uh, alfalfa in the fall. And the reason we do that is for the weevils. Uh, uh, the weevils and some of the other bugs that bother alfalfa like to overwinter in the alfalfa. Uh, stems and then right below the ground level. So the objective is to put the cows out here. Uh, we weaned last week, uh, but put the cows out here and mow the field off as much as possible and that will reduce your bug problems next spring. Uh, very important thing to do on an organic farm. Uh, now we'll go over and look at a field with some fall tillage. Okay guys, here we are in a field. Uh, if you followed my videos, you know I don't like to fall till. And uh, this is the one exception to that. So what we got going on here, this was a wheat field last year. And uh, we had oats, or we had wheat, and then we had red clover. And due to the drought, we lost uh, the red clover. And so what we did this summer was we grazed the stubble. And uh, uh, we're north of the river here, and uh, this farm got particularly less rain. And so there just wasn't a whole lot of anything growing here. Just a few sprigs of foxtail and a little bit of red clover. Uh, but it's obviously good black bottom ground. Uh, so what we have done here is uh, this ground, we will go back to oats and red clover. Uh, it's bottom ground. We've had our four years of row crop. And so we need the small grain and the legume year to build the ground. Uh, we lost the clover in the wheat, and so we're going to stretch it out another year, and we're going to plant oats and clover. Uh, this bottom ground really needs the full, uh, you know, year and a half of clover. The clover in the small grain year, and then you keep it over for the next year. But uh, anyway, in fall and winter, I love to keep my ground covered uh, with either something growing or crop residue that I'm grazing. This is the one exception to fall tillage uh, that's coming to my mind real quick. Uh, so we're on bottom ground and uh, we're here close to the trees. And so this ground will have a heck of a time drying out in the spring if we have moisture this winter. Uh, there's plenty of moisture here now. When I was out here the other day, uh, there was still frost in the ground. Now, ideally, what I would do for fall tillage here is I would like to chisel it. Uh, and that will, uh, you know, leave your surface rough. Uh, but I did not chisel it. I just dissed it the other day. Uh, I was in a hurry. There was still a little bit of frost in the ground right there next to the trees. You can see how the soil changes. Uh, well, that's because that was frozen ground when I was disking it, and they were talking an 80% chance of rain, so I thought I had to really, really hurry uh, to get this ground worked up before we had some freezing rain, and so I was working the ground. There was frost here next to the tree line on the south edge, and uh, so we used the disc and not the chisel, and we were able to skim the top. But next spring, uh, bottom ground to plant oats early in February or March, it has a heck of a time drying out. So that is a case where you do fall tillage does really benefit you to help the soil to warm up in the spring. And so that's what we got. 
we got a field that hopefully in another couple months we'll be planting uh, oats crop nice and early and the soil will be warm and dry and we'll be able to get a good stand of oats and clover. Uh, thanks guys, hope you're all having a happy Thanksgiving and uh, we're finally ready for winter. The wheat's done, and the, this little bit of tillage is done, and the harvest is done. It's a good time of year.